so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and uh, today's topic is concept of discharge you know uh, in Kate they have asked question related to this topic and uh, you know I almost everybody know what is discharge basically okay suppose that this is a pipe and uh, fluid is flowing through this pipe right and uh, the velocity velocity per unit cross sectional area is known as discharge it is we also know by uh, it's uh, we denote it is by q therefore if you will see unit velocity unit is meter per second unit of area is meter square so it units become meter cube per second now there is a simple concept that is a concept of pi if you have a studied flow through pipes in fluid mechanics then definitely you know about this concept right that is pipe 1 pipe 2 and pipe 3 that there could be any number of pipes right so if we'll uh, if we'll uh, find out in its simple concept right so q1 plus q2 is equal to q3 i mean discharge from pipe 1 discharge from pipe 2 is equal to discharge from pipe 3 if you will you know neglect uh, friction loss if you will consider friction loss then we cannot apply because we don't know how much energy will be i mean how much head loss will be taking place here and here and here so we have to neglect that to uh, to valid this equation q1 plus q2 is equal to q3 actually based on this concept concept of discharge there is a question they have asked in gate previous year and because of that i am creating this video dot well okay so uh, this this is all about discharge and its unit and its uh, formula also therefore we know that q is uh, sorry yeah q is equal to v1 a1 okay if we'll say q1 is equal to v1 a1 q2 is equal to v2 a2 and q3 is equal to v3 a3 okay this is a simple formula q is equal to va that's why there are many you know maybe you have seen this a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 in continue continuity equation if uh, the fluid is incompressible okay if it is compressible then row 1 a1 v1 is equal to row 2 a2 v2 so uh, this this formula is probably you have gone through if you are preparing for gate like examination right now let's go for uh, that numerical problem which numerical problem ask in gate previous year that's why you can understand much better i will come back to this topic that how to prepare this uh, topic flow through pipes because uh, most of the time they have asked question uh, in gate previous year i have seen and uh, it's really simple to solve question related to this topic okay i will talk on this topic okay because yeah i have to first uh, so share with you how to solve the question so let's go for it so in this question if you can see the whole uh, whole screen right now with the question only yeah if you read this question then probably it will take two to three minutes okay so let's read the question first then i will share with you how to solve it okay and uh, i have already shared with you formulas we are going to use in this uh, numerical problem to solve this okay let's go for it Consider steady flow of water in a situation where two pipelines pipe 1 and pipe 2 combined combine into a single pipeline. It's okay. Pipeline 3 as shown below. This is below and cross sectional area of the pipelines are constant. Okay. Flowing data as given. So data I haven't written because of space I do not have. But yeah, its area is 1 and coefficient of discharge is 1 okay i mean uh, sorry its area is one meter square and its velocity is one meter per second for pipe two its area is two meter square and velocity is two meter per second and for pipe three they have given area is 2.5 meter square okay these data they have given in this question now what they said assume assuming water properties and velocities to be uniform cross section uh, uniform across the cross section of the inlets and outlet so exit velocity in pipe 3 is that means we have to find out velocity here what is the velocity of the fluid uh, following through it 
at the exit of this okay so this is a simple formula we can implement but as you have gone through it's a required lot of you know lot of uh, persons to read such a lengthy question so after just seeing this diagram we can say that what we have to find out okay I mean the data given in the question that was uh, that is must to understand right so from this diagram what exactly I have shared with you the same diagram they have given in the numerical problem so we have to use this formula here right so what is the formula basically q1 plus q2 is equal to q3 okay that means discharge at pipe 1 discharge at pipe 1 discharge at pipe 2 and discharge at pipe 3 okay again we know that q1 is equal to a1 v1 plus q2 is equal to a2 v2 q3 is equal to a3 v3 i have already shared with you this formula okay now we know a1 is 1 v1 a v1 is 1 okay again we know a2 is equal to 2 and v2 is equal to 2 again we know a3 is 2.5 but we have to find out v3 that is v3 we have to find out right now thing is that uh, most of the time where exactly we are going to make mistake that is a mistake of unit will not look at unit so before going to solve the numerical problem we have to look at the unit what units they have given in the numerical problem then we must go for solving it right so what are units basically given in this question you can see meter meter per second meter meter per second meter because these three things are i mean these uh these two to four five things i am using in this equation so i have to look at these five things only okay these units are in a single unit system or not then i will go for solving the question so this is how about uh, this is about uh, you know this is about gate if you are preparing for gate you must understand all unit system if you will not understand all unit system and the units you have to be uh, get in one unit system all unit okay then only you can get right answer otherwise uh, after knowing even everything you will make mistake so don't try to repeat that mistake that's why in my almost all videos i talk about it that don't make mistake in unit because unit play most important role that is the thing so uh, here 1 multiple 1 2 multiple 2 4 is equal to 2.5 multiple v3 even we don't require calculator okay so 1 plus 4 5 is equal to 2.5 v3 therefore v3 is equal to 5 by 2.5 is equal to 2 because all unit are in si and therefore velocity unit of velocity in si is meter per second okay so answer is 2 meter per second now look at the options we have given in this question so the the answer we got is matching with option b okay so without any doubt you can mark the right answer of this question and could you believe this question asked in gate previous year and the question was of two uh, the question asked in 2009 and the question was of two marks okay as i am sharing with you this question telling you each and everything about the question the formulas we have used and of course i am talking about how you will not make mistake even then i am taking only uh, eight i mean approximately seven to six uh, seven eight minutes to solve this question but uh, yeah, while you are sitting in the examination and you know all these formulas then I don't think so it will take more than 2 minutes or 3 minutes I mean time will take here only right to solve this part so you don't need to write in details in the competition examination right because you just need to find out the right answer so but one more thing if you are not if you're a beginner or you are not familiar with formulas then try to write in details that's why you will not make mistake otherwise i have seen uh, most of the time when even uh, i have seen my students make mistake uh, because of in hurry they are in hurry that's why so let's go for let's uh, preview again it's all things so what we have is stated here it's concept of discharge all right 
so in this case what we have to understand that uh, discharge inlet is equal to outlet that is q1 plus q2 is equal to q3 this is the most important concept to understand in this uh, in this case okay now uh, the formula simple formula for discharge and its unit system what we also need to understand okay now most important we need to also understand continuity equation that is a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 but that is valid only for i mean incompressible fluid okay so this is all about concept of discharge i hope you understand a new concept and solve even solve this type of problem in the upcoming complete uh, competitive examination thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye